Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're about to head to the Maple Leaf Diner, yes. Now, the Maple Leaf Diner sounds pretty Canadian, right? Well, it is. Actually, this is a Canadian kind of themed restaurant, Canadian-inspired restaurant, Canadian-ish restaurant in Dallas, Texas, which is pretty ironic because, well, obviously I'm Canadian and I eat lots of, I guess we call it kind of like Canadian-ish, inspired-ish foods in Canada, but in Dallas, you know what's amazing about this place? It's like a top-rated restaurant. We got like numerous awards, being like top 100 restaurants across the country. It habitually wins Dallas's best breakfast, best brunch so yeah we're gonna order a lot of food we're gonna have some fun we made a really nice beautiful spread called like a menu challenge kind of like a joel hansen show and uh, that's about it so i'm gonna get it cleaned up let's go eat some food and have some fun all right everyone so here we are maple leaf diamond here it's all the food so in front of us we have a country sausage chicken and waffles i have a fish and chips made with cod we have an almond joy piece of pie yes i love almond joy it's like chocolate and coconut canadian eggs benedict with female bacon have their diner burger flagship chicken sandwich and they even hand make these uh, matzo sticks same as the onion rings and the country or chicken fried steak poutine yes a chicken fried steak poutine i love chicken fried steak this is french fries with gravy cheese curds and uh, chicken fried steak on it also got a canadian classic an animal bar and a butter tart so i'm super excited to get into this so let's eat some food and uh, let's have some fun like when in rome but when in dallas you know, gotta rep some uh, Canadian heritage here, so but we should. We get. Might as well start with a Benedict. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at the Maple Leaf Diner in Dallas, Texas. So I won't have too much for voiceover. But I will just say, diving into this Benny, oh my gosh, so good, so drippy. I love a good eggs Benedict. It's one of my favorite breakfast items. We're talking a soft poached egg. We're talking a lovely English muffin. And we're talking hollandaise sauce. Oh, it's all so good. This one also had pea meal bacon on it, which is kind of like a cured piece of ham. Some people also call it Canadian bacon, etc. But man, I love this stuff. I love breakfast. Um, ba uh, this is pretty much uh, the only voiceover I'm going to have, but I will say, say um, this is an awesome spot 10 out of 10 recommend I can't uh, believe how like amazing all this stuff was the food is great the staff were really awesome um, but at that let's dive into it let's eat a lot of food uh, let's enjoy a lot of food and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video so thank you so much for watching that is legit one of the most fantastic benedicts I've ever had. The hollandaise sauce is so well flavored. That female bacon. You don't think it's kind of like a Canadian thing, but it's just like this beautiful curd, cured, like kind of like almost ham. Oh, it's, this is fantastic. That is just beautiful. Perfectly cooked, like I said, that flavor is just coming together. I definitely approve of that egg bag. That is just like, that is phenomenal. Try not to have hollandaise sauce all over my face. Probably is already there, but we do have some of their, uh, their house fries here, their potatoes. Really nice seasoning on them. I do want to get to some of these other things while it's still hot. Here's the fish and chips. So they actually have their own homemade dill sauce here that they use with it. We do have ketchup, of course. But as always, let's just give this a try. Nice, uh, definitely a nice size filet, that's for sure. There's actually a salt and vinegar chip in the batter. And it really comes through, it gives a really nice flavor. Um, like it's kind of like a salt vinegar chip. It kind of gives that, you feel like kind of like you know, a vinegar with like a French fry kind of thing. You're getting that in the bite of the fish. Try with some of their sauce. It's nice and sweet, a little tangy. Definitely like a, you know, mayonnaise, aioli base. Very good. Get a little bit like uh, almost like paprika in it. I definitely do get a little bit of the dill as well. Try with some ketchup. Oh. 
it's just a very nice piece of fish. Redding's fantastic. It's, it's very light. Not, it's well cooked. It's not greasy. Really nice crunch to it as well. Sounds really good. I really like the tartar sauce ketchup combo and the ketchup dill, dill, dill sauce is a very nice one as well. Got some beans, some carrots. Eat your vegetables, kids. Healthy vegetables. And if you proudly eat vegetables, check out Jolie's.com. You can check out the merch line. I eat vegetables. Shameless plug. Try some of their french fries. A homemade french fry. I know they have their own fry spice on it. Ooh. Nice bit of salt. You got the skin on the potato. Again, there's a little bit of zest to it. Not like a citrus zest, but a little bit like a salt vinegar kind of just that's what we get from. Very delicious. Let's definitely try this country sausage. Chicken and waffles. So the chicken and waffles on here has been like featured in like so many different so many different awards, magazines, etc. So I'm really excited. We do have a country gravy. We have the whipped cream. We have strawberries and we have a syrup. This is their uh, cream puff as well. Ooh. Hey, what's happening? Very good. Good. Here, I brought you some more napkins. Thank you. Appreciate it. Going through them, uh, going through them a little fast, but nice. Those cream puffs. It's ridiculous. They're eh? really good. It's like, a, it's like a little pastry. Got like a uh, really like kind of sweet, almost icing in it. It's a, a very nice bite. Nice. To chase with what is a smoked sausage. So I want to give it a try. Yeah. Good luck on all that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Mm. Ooh, very moist, juicy sausage, sausage wings. Definitely carries the flavor of a breakfast sausage. Man, that is uh, that is very good. Definitely like a really good, rich, very strong mouthfeel with that. Let's try a bite of the chicken. Definitely moist. That breading, you're getting some really nice spices and flavors. This kind of like breading really reminds me of that which you'd see on like a chicken fried steak. But now, I think we gotta try the, uh, the, ch the waffle with the chicken and the sausage. Dip it in some of that syrup there. That is sweet, rich, and savory. Even that waffle is actually very, very good. Some strawberries, some good cream. I do love strawberries, good cream. Very delicious. Chicken waffles, man. I'm a chicken fried steak person. Country gravy or peppercorn gravy, pepper gravy. It's not a Canadian thing. So I always appreciate what it's down here. It's kind of like a bachamel. Those who are familiar with it. There's just a lot of fat, flour, peppercorns, maybe some sausage stuff. Very good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. By the way, what's crazy is everything on this table, like literally everything on this table right now, they made. 
They make the buns, they make the rolls. I mean, they didn't make the strawberries, I guess, that's fair, but everything else they make, which is insane. But it's just, that's what it is. It's just like delicious, homegrown diner food. It's very affordable as well. And they literally have made the uh, top, like, one of, they're a list of top 100 restaurants in the country. They have best practice every year. This is delicious. Very good. All right, let's move and try the burger. We just had some chicken. So we tried the chicken here, the flagship chicken sandwich. Well, let's try this burger. So this is diner burger, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. But we got some handmade onions on top, yes, handmade. This is well, kind of just like, like that, it's like salt and vinegar, maybe the chips in that batter. Very fantastic. You get a little bit almost like an Italian spice. Very, very good. On here as well. Pickles, lettuce, onions, bacon. The bacon here is apparently fantastic. The lady told me that, and I will definitely believe it. Ooh. That is a flavorful bacon. That smoke is perfection. Diner burger. That's a, it's a big one too. Mm. Hot damn! This bun, this roll they made here, is absolutely delicious. It's really light and fluffy. I almost get like a little bit of a croissant vibe in a way, like just a little bit. Yeah, very like biscuity, kind of like croissant dish. Just super flaky, very soft. The burger patty is very delicious as well. Yeah, absolute fire, really great taste. Sorry to catch you in mid-bite. How's everything going over here? I'm real quick. Nice. This bun is fire. And you make them, right? Yes, sir. It's like, it's almost like a biscuit slash like croissant. Like it's super like Soft, flaky. flaky and yeah. light. It's not too heavy. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had a burger with like a, a bun like that, which is like. It makes it because it's not so like heavy for the bun, you know? It just. It's crazy. Kids on the good stuff with the, uh, you know, the meat and the uh, onion rings and the sauce, right? Yeah, onion rings, I forgot about that. I'm going to try it all together, but it's like very complimentary. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. All right, now we have the uh, poutine, chicken fried steak poutine. We have the flagship chicken sandwich, the pie, and the butter tart and the nama squares for our new items left. So let's definitely try this out. Poutine is definitely not a very American item. Let's put it that way, it's a very Canadian thing. So the fun, it's kind of interesting and always cool to have like poutine, which is a very Canadian thing in an American place, because a lot of people don't know what it is. If you're not familiar, with if you're not familiar with this, it's basically french fries with gravy, you have beef gravy or brown gravy, and cheese curds. This one has chicken fried steak on it. So we have like a combination of American thing and a Canadian thing. If you're not familiar with what a chicken fried steak is, it's literally a piece of beef, like a steak, which is battered and breaded and fried like fried chicken. But it is beef. Very tender, very soft to me. Which is very important when it's a chicken fried steak. The seasonings are really coming through. Of course this one is covered in gravy. Usually, or traditionally you'd have like a, a white gravy. Like the country style gravy or sausage gravy, peppercorn gravy. But because this is on the poutine, Definitely a, uh, like it's a brown gravy. All right. So chicken fried steak is very, very good. Have a good old bite of this right here. Definitely nice and hot. I don't know if you can see it steaming. 
we have we got their ham bread french fries seasoned cheese curds homemade gravy i wish you'll appreciate what appreciation is due and those french fries and that gravy is just fantastic chicken fried steak i'll get with a bite of the with all the french fries the gravy and everything the spices and the flavors they're using in the gravy it really does taste like a Canadian poutine. I put it my eyes closed and somebody fed me this. It's like, what is it? I would definitely say poutine. And not just obviously from the textures, etc., but just the uh, just the flavor. They really have encapsulated. So if you like poutines, and maybe you're a Canadian, and or you just wherever you're from, you like them and you're down here in Dallas, you definitely get the real authentic kind of poutine experience right here. The fact that you can top it with a chicken fried steak definitely makes me happy. Call the fusion food, American Canadian combo. Very delicious, that is a very, very, very large dish. Woo, heavy. I'm heating up, there's a lot of, a lot of hot, delicious food. But let's try some of these, this uh, flagship chicken sandwich. Got even a handmade matzo stick. Hand breaded. That is definitely a matzo stick. We're talking some absolute serious cheese action there. This is a marinara sauce. Let it make here as well. Ooh, that's a delicious sauce. Beautiful seasonings on it. Besides the bacon, cheese, chicken, uh, lettuce, tomato, onion on here, I think you also have a little bit of that dill sauce, if I'm not mistaken. Woo! Oh my god. That is fantastic. You're having the deliciousness of that fried chicken, the savoriness of that bacon. You get that lovely, I'm getting that dill sauce now. That kind of really nice aioli flavors on those buns. That bun's sweet, buttery, rich. You got the peppers on here, really nice addition. You're kind of like the, I mean, they're a banana pepper, but they have the like a I don't know if it was a pochettini or whatever, like this little green, kind of spicy, kind of just delicious peppers. Very nice flavor. Just because I will try with a bit of ketchup. I do love ketchup. On fried chicken, on burgers, very good. No complaints. Like I said, these buns are a game changer. Like I said, it's almost like the croissant, really buttery, flaky. I definitely recommend trying something with one of these buns. It's definitely a beautiful, beautiful thing. Ooh. All right. I will say, like again, everything's delicious. So much for you though, and really great value. Like the total of all this, which is really like food for at least six people, is under a hundred bucks. So just say, when you can come to get out, eat out in one of the top restaurants in America with like six people, maybe even seven or eight. If there's kids involved, maybe more. For less than a hundred dollars. Again, top restaurant in America. Think about that. And like they, they said, they want best breakfast in and around the area, years and years and years, time and time after again. And I can see why. I mean, the, I mean, everything is absolutely delicious. Like those, that egg Benedict was one of the best I've ever had. Like I said, the waffles, I, I, usually a waffle to me is meh. That was a fantastic waffle and that chicken and waffle was very, very delicious. But everything's been good. The poutines have been great. The burger was fantastic. The bun was so cool. But now we come. To the time we've all been waiting for. We do have to try dessert. So here we have what is a Almond Joy pie. It's basically a coconut cream pie with a chocolate cream pie with toasted coconut and whipped cream and chocolate chips on top. I love coconut, I love chocolate. Probably my two favorite pies are chocolate cream and coconut cream. So the fact that I have a combo here, I am so excited. That is a really nice sized pie too. Big, big, thick thing, so cheers.
delicious. The chocolate really comes through. You get the coconut flavor. You're getting a little bit more like an after flavor. Generally, the, the first note was kind of like a really nice chocolatey cream pie. Luscious whipped cream, luscious texture. <laughs> Such a soft, silky mouthfeel. Woo! Yeah, that is fantastic. Really nice crust. I remember an almond joy pie. Definitely recommend. Of course, I have like coconut, chocolate, and everything up there. I love pies, I love a good pie. And this is not disappointing. All right, last but not least, we have a butter jar and a Nanaimo bar. All right, so we have the Nanaimo bar and the Nanaimo square. So the Nanaimo square and Nanaimo bar originates from Nanaimo, BC, which is ultimately the utmost west coast of Canada. This is not an American thing. These are very hard to come by down here. Nobody knows who they are, so you gotta go to a Canadian diner to get them. So basically what it is, we have a chocolate layer. You then have like a, a kind of a custard in the middle that's yellow. Um, they vary in thickness depending on who makes them. And then the bottom, we basically have what is a chocolate. You see it's coconut, it's nut. Um, sometimes there's like oatmeal in them. Kind of a thick, er, mm, kind of square bottom. Like a chocolate flavored square bottom. Custard, chocolate on top. How can you go wrong? I really, really enjoy these things. So let's give her a try. Oh yeah, you're getting a lovely chocolatiness, lots of coconut in that base. A really, really soft square. It's undoubtedly an Nanaimo bar. If you've never had an Nanaimo bar, you just, you gotta try it. It's like, you're getting like chocolate, chocolatey square, you're getting coconut, you're getting custard. It's a beautiful thing. Next, butter tart. Butter tarts are delicious, again, kind of a candy thing. Um, I mean, honestly, the, kind of a, one way you could put it, it's kind of like a pecan pie or pecan pie without pecans or pecan. So it's kind of like basically butter, sugar, deliciousness, and a tart. And you can also do like a butter pie as well, which would be the, the pie version of this tart. Whoa, damn, damn, all right. That's delicious. They have raisins in this one. Some butter charts have them, some don't. This one has raisins in it. But very, very delicious. Some people some might be called it you know, like a raisin pie or a raisin tart, kind of same thing. That is sweet, that is buttery, that is thick. That was delicious. So absolutely, Maple Leaf Diner. I will say it definitely lived up to the hype to invest breakfast so many times. This has been featured on countless shows, they had countless awards, like so many TV shows. To everything from the chicken fried steaks, the chicken and waffles. The desserts are fantastic though. And like the pies, everything is just like, I, I was, I'm blown away, honestly. If I had to do my favorite items today, I think I would do um, the Eggs Benedict. That was a knockoff of the female bacon, 10 out of 10, like just a knockout, what do you call it, knockout, home run, home run, straight up the park, woo! Um, the butter tart was very fire. The almond joy pie was absolutely, 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 absolutely delicious. The chicken and waffles was fantastic. The sausage on there with that chicken, with the waffle, the strawberries, the cream, the whipped cream. Just everything was very, very good. Uh, really enjoyed it all. Uh, I might pick up these few things, these things a bit, a few more, but I really loved it. So uh, yeah, you check the staff. They're very accommodating, very welcoming. Too Canadian. It's a Canadian thing. Uh, you know, I got my Canada day, got my Canada swag on. I think it's very suiting. But yeah, really great place. If you're ever in Dallas, kind of North Dallas, definitely come on by and check out the Maple Leaf Diner. Really, it's what it is. It's a homegrown, homemade scratch diner offering really honestly good food. Like I said, one of the top restaurants, top 100 restaurants in America, and I definitely see why. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Gently come on by, try some food. You don't need this much. This You don't need to eat for six people, but get something. Very good. Really enjoyed it. So next time, everybody, uh, that's it. Just, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Texas. Texas hospitality is a thing. 
they say Canadians are nice, Texans are really nice as well. So, and great food. And everybody, I appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Dang now it, cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day. <laughs>